Hey everyone, my name is Suman and welcome to Purple Pie Studio. So today we are going to learn how to animate a cat walk cycle in After Effects using the brand new Tweak Angela plugin. So let's get started. First let's jump onto Adobe Illustrator and let's check out the layer separation process. In Illustrator, I have separated all the body parts of the cat in a separate layer. For example, the ears are in a separate layer. The whole body is in a separate layer for the limbs. Each of the joints are in a separate layer, even the foot is in a separate layer. And then I have also kept the tail in a separate layer so that we can add some nice follow through animation. Now let's jump onto Adobe After Effects and start with the rigging process. In the latest Tweak Angela plugin under the open cutout format section, you can find out a section called Digitigrate. If you double click on it, there is a separate structure for the cat inbuilt in the Twig Angela itself. If you double click on it, it is going to create bone structure layers for a cat or animals similar to a cat. These structure layers are created in such a way that you can properly rig a cat or animals similar to a cat. But at the same time, it is going to create a lot of structure layers in the timeline at the same time. So it is going to be very hard to keep track of all the layers and the controllers at the same time. So we're not going to use this method to animate our cat. So we will be rigging each of the body parts of the cat separately and later on link the other body parts with the main body. Now let's start with rigging the legs. So let's select the leg layers, solo the layers. Then go to bone section under the humanoid, click on it. Here you can find out four options. First is arm, then leg, then spine and then here. So we're going to click on leg. Of course, it's a humanoid structure, but you can use it for any animals which has similar structure legs. So the illustration is matching with this structure layer. So we can use this one for this specific animation. So let's reposition the structure layers. Now parent the upper part of the joint with the thigh layer and the lower part with the calf structure layer and the foot with the foot structure layer. Select all the structure layers and then click on auto rig here at the bottom of the plugin. And here we go, the leg is properly rigged. Now we are going to follow the same process for the other leg. With this, the leg too is also rigged. Now let's select the body layer and let's add some puppet pins. Add a puppet pin over here, one over here for the spine, one over here for the neck, here for the head and here on top of the forehead. Now select the puppet, click on the links and constraints and then click on add pins. With this, the individual layers for each of the puppet pins are created. Now we are going to rename these layers. Now we are going to parent the head tip with the head, head with the neck and the neck with the spine and then the hip with the spine. Then select the leg one structure layer and parent it with the neck bone layer and then we are going to parent the leg to structure layer with the hip layer. Now if we move the spine, everything is going to move together with the leg. And then we are going to parent the tail with the hip layer. Now everything is set to get started with the animation. These are the key poses of a cat walk cycle. So we are going to start with animating the body. Let's select the spine layer and open the position property and split the dimension and we are going to animate the y-axis. Let's add a keyframe. A typical walk cycle of a cat takes around 1 second. So we are going to jump on to next 16 frame which is nearly half a second and we are going to add a keyframe. Now let's jump on to next 8 frame and we are going to add a keyframe over here as well. Select both the end keyframes and we are going to pull it down a little bit. Then let's add a keyframe on the rotation property. Select both the end keyframes and we're going to rotate it forward. Let's ease the keyframe. Now we're going to add the loop expression. Now we're going to copy the rotation keyframes and paste it on the neck bone layer and the head layer. And other than that, we're also going to add a position keyframe on the hip layer. Let's separate the position property dimensions. Let's add a keyframe on the position property and let's add a keyframe over here as well and one over here as well. Select both the end keyframes and we're going to pull it up. Let's easy as the keyframes and also add the loop expression. Now we're going to offset these keyframes to add a little bit of follow through. 
Now we are going to start with animating the legs. So select the leg controller and let's add a keyframe on position and rotation. And let's move the controller and bring it backward like this. This is going to be the first contact pose. Now we are going to jump on to next 32 frames and let's add a keyframe over here. And then we are going to jump on to next 16 frame. And here we are going to move the leg forward like this. This is going to be the other contact pose. Here we are going to rotate the foot in this direction. And for these two positions, we are going to select both these keyframes and we are going to rotate it in the opposite direction. Now, in between over here at the 8th frame, we are going to move the leg up a bit and let's rotate it in this direction. And from here, jump onto next 3 frame, give the rotation 0 degree and let's make the foot flat on the ground. Till this point, we are going to keep the foot flat on the ground. So keep the rotation 0 degree and adjust the position property if required. Let's select the keyframes easy is it. Then select the in-between keyframes and we are going to convert it into the roving keyframe. Now let's add the loop expressions. Now we are going to animate the other foot. So select the controller and open the position property, add a keyframe and rotation property and add a keyframe. Now for this foot, the direction of the contact poses are going to be opposite. So here for the contact pose, the foot is here backwards and for this one, we are going to move it forward like this and let's add a rotation. Now here we are going to add another keyframe and let's move the foot and spread it out like this and let's add a rotation in the opposite direction. And at the end, we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe to complete the whole loop. Let's easy as the keyframes. Then from here, let's jump on to next 8 frame and we are going to move the foot up. Let's rotate the direction of the foot downward. And from here, we are going to jump on to next 3 frame and give the rotation 0 degree and keep the foot flat on the ground. Till this point, we are going to keep the foot flat on the ground and adjust the position property if required. Now let's convert the in-between position keyframes into the roving keyframe and we are going to add the loop expression. Now if you preview the animation, you can find out this joint is popping a bit. So you can fix it very easily by changing the position of this thigh structure layer. Let's add a keyframe on the position property and here it's completely stretched out. So all we have to do is just release it a bit so that it gets a little bend. And here we can copy and paste the initial keyframe and easy as it. Then we can add the loop expression to loop these keyframes as well. Now to animate the other side of the legs, all you have to do is duplicate these illustration layers and then add the structure layers. Reposition these structure layers exactly at this position of the leg structure layers. Now parent the upper part of the joint with the thigh layer, the lower part with the calf structure layer and this one with the foot structure layer. Select the structure layers and auto rig it. All you have to do is copy this position property and the rotation property keyframes and then jump onto the in between keyframe around 16th frame. Select this controller and paste it. And with this, just in few clicks, you can animate the other side of the leg without animating it separately. So in the similar manner, you can animate the fourth leg as well. Now for the tail layer, we are going to add some puppet pins. So let's add one pin over here, one here, one here, here, here and here. We are going to convert these puppet pins into the bone layer. Now we are going to parent this pin layers in a chain like this. Now we have to animate the rotation property of this bone layer in a loop. So now copy the three set of keyframes and paste it in other bone layers and offset the keyframes to add a little bit of follow through. And here we go. So like this you can animate cat walk cycle in After Effects. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. 
I would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.